Yo, what's going on you guys? Today we're going to be going over the Invictus in the Battle Pass of Military Tycoon. In case you haven't seen the new update, this is the new Jet Season Battle Pass. Before we had a Naval Season Battle Pass, and it was I, but this one seems a lot better. Again, unfortunately, we are getting only 10 tiers, but we have two Jets this time that we have no idea what they are. I'm just gonna say one of them has to be the MIG, bro. One of them has to be the MIG. There's no way none of these Jets here are the MIG. All I can say is I hope that next season they come out with a lot more tiers than just 10. That's all I'm saying. Now, I did review the Invictus a little bit during stream because everyone was like, yo, you gotta try out the Invictus, you gotta try it out. And, I mean, it's alright. Like, it's okay. There's no upgrades or anything crazy for it. It does have a skin, but, of course, I'm not buying that skin because that is an insane price for a skin. I think it's like 400, 500 Robux. Like, nah. I'm good. It is a really cool skin though, I'm not gonna lie. So in the front here, you can see we have a little minigun turret, and then on the sides we have the two missiles, and another two missiles on the other side. It's like a cute little helicopter, definitely not war ready or anything like that, not even battle ready, honestly. But if you hop into the passenger seat, you actually get to see a radar on the screen, so if we were in a public game, you can see all of the enemy's names and stuff, all the people's names in the server. These are just the mechs hanging around the city, so you can see exactly where they are. I find the radar to be a lot more useful if you are able to see that in the driver's seat. I think that that should be possible for the Invictus, seeing that it's so freaking weak. Like I said, it's a cute little helicopter. I like to think of it, honestly, like a toy helicopter. It goes 75 miles an hour. It's pretty slow. Doesn't do very good damage. And it also doesn't have very good health. I do like the way that the missiles like swing out and then they go for their target. That's pretty freaking cool. But as you can see, just him shooting his assault rifle at me, like it's it's destroying the helicopter super fast. Hey, look at that. Okay, let's get out of here. Holy, okay, okay, we get it. Holy shit. Let's see how much damage it does to a mech. The turret damage does pretty good to the mech, I'm not gonna lie. The missile reload on it is about five seconds, I just noticed. So that's all the health I could take off of the mech with all the ammo that I have, all the four missiles. I don't even know how many bullets we get with the minigun, honestly. Guys, make sure you leave a comment down below what you think if the Invictus should get a buff or not. I genuinely think that it needs a buff, whether it's health, the weaponry, the speed, whatever it may be, it definitely needs a buff. And let me know what you think about the driver's seat being allowed to see the radar, because there's no point, no one's going to be in the passenger seat telling you where everything is, you know? Like, it would be a lot more useful if the driver could see where everyone is on the map. That would be a lot more useful, especially if the helicopter is going to be so weak. And again, this isn't me complaining. This is just me giving my thoughts. Like, this is a review. I'm giving my review on the Invictus helicopter. Like, it's not a terrible addition to the game or anything. It's not a bad addition either. But I can a million percent say it is not battle ready, as you can see. I mean, two AR clips from an AI just got me to nearly half health. Like, come on. I just want to let you guys know I will be doing a video on every single thing I get from the Battle Pass. So if you want to see that, please make sure you go down and subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this video. Don't forget, guys, we're having a giveaway at 20,000 subscribers. Five lucky people are going to get 1,700 Robux. So if you want to be a part of that giveaway, all you have to do is leave a like and subscribe down below. And again, my overall thoughts on the Invictus, I definitely think that it needs a buff. And again, whether that be arsenal power, whether it be the speed or the health, whatever it may be, it needs a buff in something. Because overall, it's like you're playing with a toy helicopter. Wait, I don't think the do any damage to the Invictus hold on no it is doing damage but it's a very very little bit of damage yeah a buff will do it definitely like a power or an arsenal buff it'll be set if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below and I'll see you guys in the next video peace out